I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, I'm Barry, this is Jamie, and welcome to Fridge Cam. Now, what happens when you combine one of the best things in the world, Christmas, with one of the worst things in the world? Pass it on. Oh. This already feels like a challenge. I'm not even sure if we need to ask Janice what the theme is looking at that table. <laughs> Janice, what's the theme? Today's theme is Christmas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you must create a dish that aptly celebrates the most wonderful time of the year. We asked the sorted community to rate you all in order of festive cheer, most to least. <laughs> These were unbelievably the results. Unbelievably? Unbelievably. Oh, if you're first. <laughs> James in first place, Jamie in second, then Barry, Mike, and finally, Grinch oh, Ben. Look. I played Scrooge a couple of years ago. It doesn't mean I am. Oh, oh heavens. Great, let's do this. One at a time, the boys have 10 minutes to cook and add to a final dish. The remaining team will have no idea what's happening behind them until it is their turn. Oh, oh, oh. As you can see, I've gone fairly, I've gone savoury. I'm going fairly traditional, but with a little bit of a twist because I think that's going to give a lot of elements for everybody to get involved with. So I've gone duck and I've gone celeriac instead of potato. And I'm going to try and start a fondant celeriac so that Jamie kind of knows where it's going. And I'm going to start taking the breasts off the duck because it won't cook in time. Butter gets in there. Duck might not necessarily be Christmassy, but it's going down the goose route. You know, instead of turkey, it's goose. We obviously don't have time to do a goose. I'm hoping that we can do like a, a nice sweet mulled wine sauce with it. Season the duck breast. It'd be really nice if we had time to do like a comfy leg, but I don't think we have time. And then that goes, that can go in a cold pan. It doesn't have to be hot at all. Wash hands. The celeriac goes in here. What I want Jay to do is like carefully turn that so it gets really, really nice and brown on all sides. And then what I want Barry to do is put a bunch of chicken stock in there so that it cooks out. A little bit of rosemary and thyme. Should I put it in now? How about I just like rest it on the edge? Is that gonna work? I don't want it to like cook and burn in the butter. And the carrots, I think somebody's gonna roast the carrots, but also I wanna use a couple of them. And hopefully they're gonna understand that it's a sauce because it's all gonna be like roughly chunked up. Oh. I need to go quickly because Jamie needs to get the duck, so I'm going to give myself a uh, an seven and a half out of ten because I think I've left it quite open and everybody's going to get involved and have some fun. That went really fast. <laughs> He's gone savoury, savoury Christmas. Slariac. I'm going to go with Slariac. Sprouts. We can just get rid of them. Nobody needs them. We'll put these in the fridge. What about over here? Yeah, that's, oh, let's turn that over. That's looking great. I can take some credit for that later. Yeah, but you know what else is really good, actually? Like um, some braised red cabbage. It's not Christmas unless it's pigs and blankets. So I'm just gonna add them into the pan to fry off with our duck. Yes, boy. Pop them over here. Oh, ow! Make them Barry's problem. Yep. It's quite a lot. Not too shabby. I'm going to give myself a... a very jolly 6.89. Oh, <laughs> that's really heavy! A lot of ingredients have disappeared from this table. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Ah! This involves a normal to make some decisions. Ah! What is that? I don't want to overcook this. 
I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just flapping. Ah! Oh no. So I'm gonna put that on the heat to get going. I've just spent four minutes panicking. Don't know, oh no! This is going so badly. Ah, oh, stuff it, just do what I know. Do what I know. Do what I know. Just do what I know. Right, I don't care what's going on. Christmas dinner isn't complete without bread sauce. That was annoying me. Some milk. That's cream, crap. Milk with a bit of cream. Indulgent. Then I need onion, onion, onion. Oh, I've done so badly. I've done so badly. I hate myself for this. Right, I've got a southern onion with some cloves going in to there. Right, not enough time. Let's cut that in half. And then grate in some nutmeg. Christmas! Yeah! No bay leaves, no bay leaves. Never mind. 35 seconds, literally, that's just been awful. Shocking, absolutely shocking, Barry. I really hope my Christmas goes better than this. Um, I'm gonna give myself a two. Two, I just faffed. Rubbish, absolutely rubbish. Less is more. Okay, that's the lesson I've learned. I can do that, I can do that. Okay. There are no in instructions as to anything. What is that? Halloumi. For a start, I haven't got time for this. We can't just have a chin wag for eight minutes and 12 seconds. I'm gonna take that off the heat. There's no pan space. I don't know how long this has been in, but I have a, I have a horrible feeling that this is supposed to be the beginnings of a bread sauce. Ah, how do you make a bread sauce? I know this. Those onions come out. I have no idea. That could be something completely different and I could be ruining this. We go butter in. This could be really buttery as well because I have no idea whether butter's already been put in. Hey, it's Christmas, so we'll be gener generous with the butter. I don't know what this cabbage is doing. It's run out of juice. So, I mean, I might stick some more vinegar in that because it's, I mean, Loads, there you go. We're just gonna get this in. So you just wanna reduce a bread sauce over like, I think 20 minutes. So I put it on a slow bubble. I haven't really done anything, to be honest, except for guess that this is a bread sauce. It needs a gravy, or it needs some sort of sauce, and I am not qualified to do that. All he needs to do is plate up and work out how to make a gravy out of one solitary stock cube and maybe some pan jus. That is a massive Christmas oval plate. I didn't do very well. I haven't offered anything, so I'm gonna give myself a three. You are up. Right, straight off, I have got some work to do because if you guys think I am not Christmassy, then that's what I need to improve on. More than anything else, Christmas is time for giving. Christmas is a time for love and family. So we're gonna make sure we give our loving family over there some good food. What have we got? Duck that is very overcooked. Pigs in blankets covered in duck fat. That'd be nice. We can make that work. <coughs> <coughs> very, very sharp. That looks like that's supposed to be a gravy. Sprouts. I don't know why they're in the fridge. So we got cabbage and duck. So I guess the plan was some celery. Oh, did I literally just look at that and not see that? It's not cooked though. I like it, but it's not cooked. The last 10 minutes of a Christmas lunch is normally just warming a few serving dishes, putting things out on the table for family service, getting the wine ready. Wine ready? I can make myself a mulled wine. Buck fat and sprouts. I quite like a little few flavours through sprouts so that they're not what people are scared of, which is that little pocket of cabbage. It's being cooked in the duck fat. I'm adding some fresh thyme, some salt and pepper, 
and some cranberries. Cranberries and sprouts. Okay, the cabbage is going to be too sharp, so it needs something fruity in it. I have never done this before in my life, but I'm thinking outside the box. Mince meat you'd normally put into uh, mince pies is very sweet and sticky and fruity and might balance that out with a nice Christmas flavour. A bit more citrus in there. And the cabbage is a little firmer than I would really like because it should really be braised for a long time. But we're going to have to make do with that. Has anyone got any stock out? Got lots of veg in there already, so I don't need much of that. This is not going to be the best sauce in the world for a couple of reasons. One, not even sure if it's had enough time to cook out the wine. What it did have was lots of lovely flavour from the veg. I'm just going to strain it off so that I can reduce it down into a hot pan. And hopefully that's reduced to a point where we can use it in a moment. I think this duck could have done with a little less time, personally. But the skin could be a little crispier. It's not bad actually, it's blushed. It, I, I take that back, it's blushed, it could be a little less, but it's not a problem. Bend around that. We do tend to go a bit excessive on meat at Christmas, but I think it's that time of year where it's almost excused. A minute left. It's going to look alright, it's not going to look great. I don't think bread sauce is ideal in this situation, but it'd be rude to leave it off because someone's made it. And I think Christmas is about traditions, but it's traditions for your family the way you like it. 10 seconds to throw some gravy on a plate. I've got time. And there we go. Not sure if you'd call it Christmas dinner, but it's definitely festive. Oh, I've got to rate myself. Seven and a half for getting some stuff on a plate. Are you ready, boys? <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> In 50 minutes, the boys have made pan-fried duck breast with braised mincemeat red cabbage, roasted celeriac, duck fat and cranberry sprouts, and bread sauce. Someone found the Brussels sprouts that I hid. Did you hide them? Of course Is I did. Is that what you did? <laughs> oh. It's not offensive, it's not massive, but it could taste incredible and therefore be well worthy of the celebration of Christmas. You're right, we should be celebrating what's there, not what's not there. Cheers. 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 Oh, I'm glad we drink this with it. That's a relief. Thing is, there's not much there, which means that every item on that plate has to be perfection. I'm going to be honest with you, I have never flapped more in my life. The cabbage was stuck to the bottom of the pan when I came in, so I pretty much doused it in cider vinegar. Cider <laughs> vinegar? Not mulled wine? Nope. What's you thought on? that somebody had put pickled cabbage on a Christmas dinner? Yeah, I genuinely did. You're not dare digging in before we do crackers, oh, yeah, are you? Oh, sorry. Should we have to do like the old dangle? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Oh, yes! Yes! Why did the oyster go home early? Because he pulled a muscle. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Let's try this. I'm intrigued to see whether the slayer egg was cooked. Oh, that's a no. <laughs> no. Cheers. Oh, no. Cheers. 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 Oh, dear. I'll tell you what, bread decent sauce. bread sauce. Really good on nutmeg mm. and cracker seasoning, and that was good. Mm. That cabbage is delicious. That is the best thing on the plate. It's a little acidic. Oh, it is at the end. Oh. But it's better than it being bland. Ebbers, you literally saved this. Mm. I enjoyed everything on that plate thoroughly. Well, but not the celeriac. Not, not the celeriac. celeriac. Being brutally honest, is this a festive, festering fail, or is it a <laughs> Christmas miracle? <laughs> As the elected head of Christmas. <laughs> I, I've got to give it a fail. It's not Christmassy enough for me. I think there are enough redeeming features on that plate to give it a pass. They're not singing, dancing, there's no Christmas cheer. I think that's a fail. If I were to give it a Christmas miracle, it would solely be because the chefs did a good job. And I don't think that's good enough to pass it, so it's a festive, festering fail for me. I think that is a better plate of food than many of our pass it on that is endings. So far. <laughs> and therefore, I think it is on the lower, lower, lower end of pass and there's things we can take from it. No, you, you, can't, you can't judge it by what we've done before. <laughs> <laughs> what did people score themselves? I scored myself a 7.5, which I thought was almost fair, but maybe I just didn't leave enough clues for you guys. I went for a 6.89. Mm -hmm. Strong sausage edition. I'd have given you the exact same score. How high? 6.89, I think he said. Holy, I, went, I gave myself a two. Oh, well, that's oh, fair. Wow. You made oh, bread sauce. Bread sauce. I made bread sauce and did nothing else. You studied an onion with cloves and put it in cream. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, did you do the bread part, the bread sauce? Well, yeah, because it hadn't finished. Oh, hadn't congratulations. <laughs> well done for a very, very good bread sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I gave myself a three, I think. Oh, okay. Who took the celeriac out of the pan? Spaff. Oh, <laughs> six point eight nine. Are you kidding me? I gave myself seven point five okay. for putting stuff on a plate and seasoning a few bits. Well, there are our rankings. Uh, we would love you to rank us in the comments uh, from best to worst, one to five. Let's not let this ruin Christmas. No, or friendship no. Or I no, think okay, we should on. just pour some more wine. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry everyone. Merry Christmas. Come on, Christmas. Come on, James. Come on, get in, James. Hello. Oh. Now, as always, Janice needs your help with some more themes and order, so please comment down below with your ideas. I'm really glad you're back, because after my last performance, I think everyone else understands why I don't do these. Went into a cake shop the other day. Yeah. All the cakes were five pounds, except for one that was 10 pounds. Okay. I asked, why is that one 10 pounds? And the shop owner said, it's Madeira cake. <laughs> Better, like Better. that, Better. like that. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. My the chest is yeah. a little too wide for this. Ooh. I don't know if it is. Look, little, this, this, come, this is no, a bit baggy, isn't James it? James had no. two little boop, boop, like just a bit baggy boop, boop, boop. on you, actually. No, I think I'm actually. This bit's sticking I'm out too a bit. big. I'm too big for it. <laughs>